Hi guys. Just got back from the York train meet. That's a TCA annual meet. Actually, it's semi-annual. Twice a year they have it. Got some really, really nice stuff this year. Actually, this this show, I always get something really neat, but I thought this was an exceptional show this year. Uh, picked up a lot of cars. A lot of stuff for parts. And some other stuff. Give you a quick, quick look. Picked up this box car. It's twenty four fifty eight. I need the doors. This is a post war. I have a pre war. Um, the doors are cracked on mine, so these are replacements. I think I paid five bucks. That wasn't bad. I'm rebuilding a two sixty E. I've been rebuilding that for quite a few years, but I've been waiting to find a frame. It was cost effective. Found the frame. The guy sold me this this uh, shell, frame, and the motor, all for one nice price. A couple of my other projects are a 385E. It's a standard gauge. Five bucks for the steam chest. What a deal. I'm also doing a 384. Need the front trucks. And I need the side rods. Ten bucks for that. That wasn't bad at all. Found some boiler fronts. I like keeping some of them around. Never know what you're going to run into. I also found a couple st standard gauge engines, electrics. It's a 318. The 318 is the early version of this one. It has the manual forward and reverse. And I believe this was part of the coal train. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more, but this is a very nice price. And also I found a 318E. Nice looking trains. They're played with. I don't mind that. It shows that it's authentic. However, these extras here, I don't know when they happen. Probably in transit. Um... I did notice after I got home, I didn't really see this while I was at the show, but this light frame is broken, cracked. I saw this was missing, that's the pantograph, and also this one here. I guess people just didn't realize, or whatever, how easy it is to take it out with just a piece of tape. People have trouble getting the lights out. If you use a piece of tape on it, get them out nicely. For my standard gauge 200 series, I find this cattle car. Very nice runner. I was told it was a runner when I bought it. It is. It's not perfect, but as always, I don't go for the perfect cars because they don't look like they were used or played with, and I like something that was played with. Nice looking car. For my other projects, once again, 385 frame, 384 frame. On the first day of the show, on Thursday, one of the first tables I went to, I found this car. The 2816. And this thing is almost flawless. It's absolutely just really just a nice looking car man I can't believe it I think I paid twenty five dollars for this and I couldn't pass it up this is definitely one for the collection then I find this lot of Super O track These are stacks of 10. I took a good count when I got home. A lot of track. I got it for a very reasonable price. This is one of the reasons why I think it was reasonable. All these were cut to suit. Were custom lengths for this guy's layout. Not a total downfall or meltdown, but it's just not what I was hoping for, but they're there. I'll work them in somehow. And I'm missing the 
center clips. And we have 17 of them. I was promised by the guy who sold me these that he would have other ones for me. So we'll see. This is another thing I thought was pretty funny. This guy actually made the center rail out of a piece of copper. He flattened that piece right there. Look how he nailed that down to the rails. He used, I, I, I mean, I'm sorry, the ties. Looks like a staple. Flattened both ends. Very nicely done. You know, here's the way it should look. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it's just a flat bar. This one's just a piece of copper rod or wire. Not so sure about them staples. Make sure rollers have something else to skip over too. And the week of the show, they always have flea markets. Guys get down there early and they want to sell some stuff. I found this at Monday at one of the flea markets. A pre-war O scale American Flyer. It's a two six four. I have one of these already. They are so smooth. Very smooth running engines. I love them. I think they're kind of cool just to look at them. Especially the drivers. Look at them. You can see through all the way through these things. And the action on these are just really nice. How smooth that is. It's so easy to turn. And it's a runner. It's scratched up. Has this extra wire on the bottom. I'm not sure why this guy put that on there. For the center rail pickup. I don't know if it wasn't working right. But I'm just going to leave it as is. Also, I've got this tender. He said it was the correct one. The one I have upstairs in my, my case is not like this. It's a coal tender. This is this is a little different. But this is a non-whistling tender. It's an empty shell. Not bad looking. Then for my double O, I found this nice little guy. Nice little box car. Reasonably priced. Not bad. Not really missing anything. Not really broken. Nice stuff. So, this is what I got. If you guys get a chance to go down to the show, I recommend you do it. There's always nice stuff. Great people down there. A lot of fun to talk to people about trains, and you have three days to do it. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If you're choosing to down on Monday and Tuesday, possibly Wednesday, for the flea markets. And they're all just really cool. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. Thank you. Keep them running. Have a great day.